In this lesson, I wanted to talk about some ethical concerns and similar things with AI. I'm not really going to say, hey, here's the correct way things should be. Rather, I'm just going to bring up some concerns people have, some thoughts of my own, and what exactly the future is going to look like. I mean, I obviously don't know the future, but there are some gray areas that we should be aware of and concern ourselves with. So we've talked about this some throughout. You know, AI gives us answers to problems. We don't really have clear visibility into how it does that from a user's perspective. So we're basically just trusting this AI to do whatever we ask it to do. This brings up concerns about the trust level you have in these models and the reproducibility of outputs, especially for things like a medical diagnosis. You don't just want to trust AI to give you that. You want to be able to know why it gave you that. So right now, AI is often paired with experts and they're using it as a tool to make better decisions. And I wouldn't be surprised if in many industries we're already here where AI can do the decision making much better than a human. In that situation, do we just say, okay, trust the AI, it does its thing, it knows what it's doing, problem solved. I think whether or not we need human verification depends on the context. So basically, what are we trying to come to a conclusion about? So I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where we just let AI do all the decision making and no human interaction at all. But for many low risk questions and decisions, AI is definitely going to make that choice and have the authority to execute on the decision. That could be concerning because what if its judgment is off? And as we begin to trust AI more and more and more, the side effects of an AI making an incorrect decision could be very drastic because it actually has the capacity to then act on that decision. So we're not using humans to verify a result. We're letting the AI decide and do something about it. Over time, I think we're going to continue to give AI more control and more trust is going to be given to the AI to do these things. But that's going to bring up some challenges. What happens when an AI does something incorrectly and we find out after the fact, after some decision making and action has been done? That's a really big gray area, especially if it comes to, you know, things that impact people's lives. AI, for example, could be something used to look at evidence and determine if somebody is likely to be guilty. That's something that could really alter somebody's life. And right now at this point, you know, most of that's going to be verified by humans. But I think you guys will start to see that we let AI do more and more and more over time. So that's just an idea or something to be aware of. If AI is making decisions and doing actions, what happens when the AI messes up? Who's accountable? Who gets in trouble? Does the AI get in trouble? Does the big tech company? Does the company using the model get in trouble? Does nobody get in trouble? <laughs> so that's the first concern I have. The more transparent of a process, the better, because if we can basically have the model give us, hey, here's why you came to this conclusion, we could verify that very easily and basically just use AI as a preparation tool removing manual effort and catching things that we might have missed. The next big concern of mine is the data that these models are being trained on. Where does this data come from? Is this data something that the model should be trained on? What if this model is trained on stolen data or data that's copywritten and is posted online when it shouldn't have been? Is that a concern? Is that going to then influence the model to use some of the stuff it shouldn't in the final answers it gives to prompts. So that's a big one here, data sourcing and ownership. Just being cautious and knowing more about what data is being used to train AI models. And a big concern is, especially now with so much AI garbage being posted online, if that's then being used to train new models, are we just going to have a feedback loop where certain things are amplified so AI being trained on AI generated data. A big one here is costs. And this could be cost financially or other things like environmental impact. Basically everything we have to give up in order to be able to use AI. This is especially concerning if the use of AI is affecting more than just the users of AI. So if it's an environmental concern, that affects everybody. Or if we are somehow paying financially for AI to be created and used. So that's a really valid concern. 
you can do a ton of research on it. There are articles and, you know, people's opinions about the environmental impact of AI. Is it a trade that is actually worth it? There are a lot of disagreements. So for example, there's a common thing like, oh, every single query will use so much water. So you write an email, it's gonna take a half a bottle of water or whatever. I would say in many cases that data is exaggerated and there's a lot of people arguing it, especially if you're considering the efficiencies of modern data centers and the improvements in efficiency for AI processing. But that is just something you could do additional research on. And then additionally, we have electricity. So for example, a data center may have incentives where they're not paying what it would actually cost in electricity, but rather that cost is put into the base price across all customers. So it's almost like we are paying for the data center, even if we choose not to use the data center, which might drive up the cost of utilities. Now that's a pretty bold statement. Again, I'm not really an expert in this. I'm just giving you some different topics, but certain costs might be public instead of private, which is another important thing to think about if this is for big tech companies. Do big tech companies that are running these AI operations that have billions of dollars really need public incentives? Is that really in everybody's favor is the question? because those advantages could lead to monopolization of AI. And I think that's a very valid concern because there's only a few key players in AI right now. And it's an industry that is impacting pretty much everything in the world. Next big thing is training data bias. And this could be done intentionally or unintentionally. But if a model is trained on a certain set of data and that data is not representative of reality, then it could create a model that favors certain things. This could be a malicious act by a company to produce a model that acts a certain way, but I don't think that's always the case. It could just be the data set that it's being trained on. So that's a concern. How do you identify those biases? And if we're just trusting AI as fact, is that allowing us to be heavily influenced without us even realizing it? But on top of that, there's also the question on morality and censorship. And this doesn't even have to be baked into the model. This is especially true for AI providers where you're just using some proprietary model. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. They could be doing literally whatever with your data. And they might say one thing, but do something else. So who decides what's right and wrong? Who decides what you should and should not be able to talk about? Should it be big tech? Should it be the government? Should it be the end user? Those are all things to concern yourself with. I remember a discussion on C++ and Gemini. I think the Primogen was talking about it or I saw it in an article or something, but C++ is often considered an unsafe language because you have direct access to memory locations and you can basically shoot yourself in the foot if you don't know what you're doing. And somebody was unable to get Gemini to explain C++ because they were under 18. So the model was like, yo, this is not safe because it's labeled as unsafe. You're under 18, so I'm not gonna teach you how to use C++, which is absolutely wild. That's probably a hiccup, like that's not standard behavior, but it just shows that if a model or a model provider decides, hey, we don't want you to talk about this thing, then you're just stuck to abiding by those rules. And then the last big one here, I think, is harm to people. Now, I'm not really talking about cyborgs yet, but starting off, I'm more thinking people's reputation or people's understanding of reality. So let's first talk about little kids. Little kids may not have the ability to decipher what is AI generated and what's not. Or who knows, maybe they'll be way better at it than some old guy like me. But right now I'm thinking a very young kid, if you get on YouTube Shorts or YouTube Kids or like some of these other apps that are dedicated for kids, right now there's a huge problem with AI generated content just flooding those websites. And in many scenarios, that content is very extreme. So even some video of like a cat or whatever it might be ends up being violent or extremely sad and depressing. I think this flood of AI content could really be harmful for kids. 
I don't have any like research papers. This is just my intuition. But the biggest problem here is that content filters are not being applied to AI generated content as they should be. So something that shouldn't have been allowed is getting through that content filter because it's AI generated. So you can find videos of people exploring this in a lot more detail, but just be cautious, especially if you have young kids. Next thing is reputation of people. So obviously AI could make you do something that you didn't actually do. That could be extremely harmful for many people and that could potentially put their livelihood at risk if it affected their employment. But there's not really great ways to validate content. So right now we can usually see what's AI and what's not, but it's becoming more and more difficult. And in a couple years, content's gonna be coming out that you cannot tell whether this is AI or if it's not AI. Or maybe it's not AI, but certain components of it are modified and it's not clear enough to be able to tell. There are ideas and approaches to verification of videos, like, hey, this is an AI-generated video, but I don't think any of those are mature enough. Plus, if one AI provider provides a system to say, hey, this was generated with our AI tool, and that can be verified through cryptography or whatever, well, what's to stop me from then just creating that same idea, same prompt, using a different model that doesn't use that verification? So you might be able to verify that something came from an AI tool, but it might be difficult to verify that any individual video or content piece is AI generated. And I guess just as a bonus here, all of this AI stuff is being forced on people basically. You can't go anywhere or do anything without some AI integration or AI content. It's honestly quite taxing. Because if you're trying to avoid it for some reason, it's everywhere and it seems like AI is being integrated in things that have no reason to have AI, no need for it. So just thinking of the world generally, is it appropriate to push all of these risks on everybody? AI can change literally everything and it's pretty much the wild west right now. With just a few key big tech players and often these big tech companies, they have concerns of their own without even getting into the world of AI. Maybe that's heresy coming from a tech person, but you know, do we wanna trust Google, Facebook, Twitter with all of our data and now being able to generate anything that they want? It's pretty high risk. And that's basically a requirement at this point as all content could potentially be AI generated. All applications are integrating with AI. Your data is likely being used in AI training. It's a very big change without a lot of people focusing on these concerns. So maybe we need to slow down a little bit, figure out all this stuff, and then we can use AI more appropriately. So I don't really know the solution to that. I don't know if it's government involvement because that could just potentially introduce more issues. I don't know if it's open source. I don't know the answer. All I'm doing is sharing some concerns that I've seen and now you are enlightened. So start learning about these, keep your eyes open, and just wake up, people. Open your eyes. <laughs> Do be aware of these things. Focus on learning AI. And if you can do it in such a way that addresses some of these concerns, you're going to be a better human being and a better employee or better business owner. There are a lot of people that are against AI, and it's actually kind of refreshing to see that not everybody just wants to be fed AI and accept it. So you might see AI pushed and how it's changing the world and whatnot, but that is not the consensus across the entire world. Not everybody is on board with this. And there's plenty of things within AI that I'm not super excited about. Well, anyways, I'm just kind of ranting at this point. So I'll stop there. There's probably a bunch of other concerns. If there's anything I want to add, I'll just put them in the notes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next lesson.